there's been some significant progress in the Pilot Flying J DC Fast Charger build. And just so people know, I don't create these updates on a routine. I only create them when there's something new to report because I don't want to just create a update just to create an update. So no news is no news, if you're wondering for me. There's been a couple of um, subscribers who are wondering when the next update was going to be. And really the answer is when there's significant progress to report. And th right now there's enough information to convey that uh, we are at that point. First of all, I want to start off with this picture, which is from Grand Ledge, Michigan, just west of Lansing. What I want to draw everyone's attention to is the IHOP, which has delicious blueberry pancakes with blueberry pancake syrup. So yummy. I love those pancakes. This is the first Flying J I've seen with a IHOP. Typically, they have Denny's, which is good enough. Denny's has really good food as well, but boy, do I love IHOP pancakes. So good. So now we can go get electrons and have a delicious breakfast all at the same time. Another thing, I switched jobs and my EVgo account was tied to my work email, so I had to create a new EVgo account, and I noticed that this map is back. The map in the EVgo website was gone for some reason, but now it's back. So if we want to search these sites in the EVgo website, we can. However, the pricing for the stations is not in the EVgo website. The EVgo website just has the stations and it's a easy way to sit down at a desk and search these sites. For the pricing, you have to go into the mobile apps, either Pilot Flying J or the EVgo apps. Right now, they both have pricing. That wasn't the case just a little while ago, but now we could track the pricing in either one of those two locations. So making life a little bit easier. Okay, so the biggest news I think is that Pilot Flying J received Nevi Awards from two states that announced uh, recently. The state of Maryland announced, and Pilot Flying J received three awards, which I believe constitutes all their coming soon locations in 2024, so all those will receive Nevi funds. Also, the state of Minnesota announced their Nevi, and I think Pilot Flying J has about six locations on their build list, but only one of them received a Nevi award. And I think the way this works is Pilot Flying J submits their applications for awards and then they don't build anything until those awards are announced because I think it has some bearing on the state timetable for how funds are dispersed. And if you build soon, you might negate your ability to receive the award. So once these awards are announced, then Pilot Flying J can go into the state and start building. Uh, or once funds are disperse, then they could start building those Nevi sites. So the Nevi has some play on what Pilot Flying J is doing, at least I believe so. I'm not a inside, um, I don't have any inside knowledge on the workings of Pilot Flying J's uh, decision making, but I'm assuming that's the case. So now, since the state of Minnesota has announced their Nevi awards and one site has been awarded, the other sites can proceed to build and this one site will get built once the funds are dispersed. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the update. It's taking too long. Let me use my scroll. All right. The new open locations are here in Sullivan, Missouri. We have a uh, new one in northern Georgia, Riscata, I believe is how it's pronounced. We had a sleeper site open on us here in Pennsylvania, east of Harrisonburg. And the fourth one is Lansing Grand Ledge, where there's delicious blueberry pancakes waiting for us. Also, at 35 cents per kilowatt hour, Lansing is the lowest price station in the network. So not only can we get delicious blueberry pancakes with blueberry pancake syrup, our cars can charge at the low, low rate of 35 cents per kilowatt hour. It's like a dream come true. Okay. Um, so if we look, Interstate 40 has several pin drops. Interstate 81 has several pin drops. Interstate 75 has several pin drops. And if you mash that up against the coming soon, we got more popping up on Interstate 40. Uh, these two in Oklahoma uh, are both on Interstate 40. This one here is on Interstate 40. And then uh, in the existing map, um, 
There's also multiple on Interstate 40. This is Amarillo, Texas. This is Sayre, Oklahoma, both on Interstate 40. Winslow, Arizona. Jackson, Tennessee, Interstate 40. Uh, Knoxville, Tennessee is on Interstate 40. So that's definitely a build corridor. 75 is a build corridor. 81 is a build corridor. And Interstate 95 is a build corridor. Plus, there's also the states that are releasing their NEVI funds. For instance, the state of Ohio. So multiple different things going on here simultaneously. Independent of NEVI, Pilot Flying J has their um, plans, which are displayed right here to complete by 2024 all these pin drops. I-5 has a lot of work to do, but you can see here's that Interstate 40 I was talking about. Interstate 75 goes through here, 95, 81. 81 is pretty well along. There's 25 weeks left in the year, 148 left open. That equates to six per week that they would have to open in order to achieve this goal. In my opinion, that is becoming increasingly unlikely. Um, I've seen at most uh, five open in one week, but they are definitely picking up the pace. So they're at least making an effort. And we'll see how it transpires because there's a lot of sites spotted under construction. We definitely know that crews are out there working and um, sites are opening. It's just we're not sure if it's going to complete at the rate necessary to hit that goal. Okay. The way these tables work for people who are new is it's broken up by time zone. I figured that'd be a little bit easier to break these tables up by time zone. Uh, there's just too much. Anything new is highlighted. Currently we have 52 sites open, 21 pilot, 31 flying J. In the Eastern time zone, Lansing at 35 cents per kilowatt hour with delicious blueberry pancakes and blueberry syrup. So yummy. And Myerstown, Pennsylvania, the sleeper site, Interstate 78, 62 cents per kilowatt hour. Riscotta, Georgia, it is a canopy site. Just so everyone knows, this column here is Nevi Awards, and you can see most of the builds to date are not funded by the federal government. These are privately funded DC fast charger stations. Pricing has all been updated, and I guess the person who adjusts pricing took a vacation because all the prices are exactly the same, except for the new ones. So the price did come down a little bit, and I glanced over that. Let me go back up there, stand by. New price averaged out across the entire network is 61.4 cents per kilowatt hour. It came down from 62.26. That's mainly because all the new sites are at lower costs, specifically Lansing at 35 cents per kilowatt hour. So that brought the average price down a smidgen. In the central time zone, the new site is Sullivan, Missouri. It's been hanging out there, built, waiting to be energized and commissioned, and it has finally done so. And the price is very low for the state of Missouri. If you could look, 70 cents in Springfield and 65 in Joplin, but here is 40 cents per kilowatt hour. That is a very encouraging price. It seems like all the new ones opened up with lower pricing. So maybe for some reason they're giving direction to their team to uh, lower the price. I'm not sure, but that seems to be the trend. And there's nothing new in the mountain time zones or Pacific time zones, but it is worth noting how few sites there are in the mountains and Pacific time zones. So we're talking about this westward shift that will eventually have to happen if they're going to complete that map by, 2020, by the end of 2024. Spotted under construction, there's actually only one site. However, because there's so many sites spotted under construction, which is 42, right up here, 42. Again, this is sorted by time zone. Um, I'm gonna scroll down slowly so people can see what may be under construction in their neck of the woods. And you'll see in the state of Ohio, many NEVI sites are currently under construction. Basically every NEVI site in the state of Ohio is either open or spotted under construction. After I complete this update, I'm going to roll a updated slide deck with pictures of all the canopy locations, both open and spotted under construction. And there's a lot of them. They're sprouting like tulips in the spring. Okay, so the eastern time zone. The new one spotted under construction is in the central time zone, so we'll get there in a second. And scrolling down, nothing new in Eastern. 
Central Time Zone. State of Oklahoma now has two sites that are open and two sites that are spotted under construction. So the state of Oklahoma has four known builds. So that's uh, pretty good for such a small state. State of Texas obviously is a big place, so they got a lot of activity. Definitely need more just because of the sheer volume of land that they hold. And again, same trend, the mountain and Pacific time zones are pretty sparse right now. Um, so we're waiting for the shift of the cruise over to the west. And that's the update for this cycle. Again, next update will be determined by how much activity Pilot Flying J um, occurs. So um, I'm going to run the slide deck that shows the canopy locations. Thanks for watching.